Since the 70s, the province of Cotabato has been a nest of conflict between the Moro, Christian settlers, and the indigenous peoples. In 2003, after a string of failed peace talks, the provincial government decided to shift its focus from adults to children. Aside from being open to new ideas, children are also both victims and agents of war. Hence, the Children First program was created to foster trust among the multi-sectored youth to encourage them to be peace advocates and to provide them with education. We're working on many components like the early childhood care and development. We provided a lot of uh, resources for daycare centers. We started uh, a program called Study Now, Pay Later. So we started with uh, 300 scholars and now we increase it and we have now something like 1,000 scholars province-wide. Use our potentials as teachers, not only for those... But the program's main component is a Children of Peace, or COP, which gathers children from the three sectors to participate in peace-building activities. I want to remove to these children the hatred that they are being implanted and the anger and the fear. And the principle that was motivated during the, the time that they are playing, the time that they are making stories, the time that they are studying together, the time that they are eating, the time that they both exercise their religion, respect the religion of the Muslim, respect the religion of the Christian, respect the religion and culture of the of the IPs. Roles are reversed with children setting an example for their parents. To further discourage adults from joining the war, the local government gives them support for livelihood and health care. So far, COP has produced more than 200 graduates who are encouraged to continue the peace advocacy by being workshop facilitators. One of them is Malen, who used to be a victim of war. Mahirap yung buhay, especially pag isang evacuee ka na naranasan mo kung paano magkagera. Kung dati, iniisip ko, yung ibang culture is parang sila yung may kasalanan kung bakit nagkaroon ng gera. Sa COP, narealize ko na pareho lang kami biktima. Kaya after ng COP, kaya nagiging active na ako sa mga volunteer works about peace. 20-year-old Sulman, a former child soldier, is now a university student. He admitted that in the past, he was biased against Christians because of the propaganda fed to him. Through COP, he was able to form his own opinions. We felt that I was out of the way when I was in the back of my head. It was like a trauma that I was in the back of my head. That's why I was able to get out of my life. That's why I was able to get out of this program. Kasi siya yung nagbigay sa akin ng halaga para mag-aral. Kasi kung wala yun, kasi parang wala na. Wala na akong kinabukasan para sa sarili ko. Kasi ang iniisip ko, uh, para lang sa isang side namin. By educating the youth, peace has a chance to be sustainable, ultimately leading to the path of unity and progress. The children, as we have said, are the pag-asa ng bayan. And if we prepare them for a good attitude, then what I'm going that they can be proud of that I am a Cotabateño. I live in a place that there is a love and respect of both the Christian, the Muslim, and the Romani, who are all Filipinos. Mm -hmm.